Welcome to my channel. Do you ever find your long exposure nighttime shots looking washed out and seemingly underexposed? If you're not compensating for reciprocity failure, then that may be the reason why. Reciprocity means that reducing the aperture by one stop and increasing the exposure by one stop will give the same resulting exposure. So 125th of a second at f8 will give the same exposure as a 250th at 5.6 or a 60th at f11. However, the silver halides in film react differently with very long exposures, resulting in fainter images. This is called reciprocity failure. You have to compensate by giving substantially more exposure. I've added a link to the page in Wikipedia covering this in case you want to know the science behind it. Here's the data sheet for Ilford HP5 showing the graph for reciprocity failure compensation. Shutter speeds up to half a second don't require any change. However, a 10 second exposure needs to be doubled to 20 seconds. Exposure for Ilford HP5 increases exponentially according to this formula. Metered exposure raised to the power of 1.31 equals required exposure. So 10 seconds raised to the power of 1.31 equals 20.4 seconds. That maths lesson will come in useful later. I went out at night to take some photographs in Bristol with my Rolliflex, tripod and a cable release. Here's a shot where the meter reading is 60 seconds at f22. Looking at the table you can see I had to increase this to three and a half minutes. Here are some photos showing both measured light reading and actual exposure applied. This shot required an even longer exposure. The noise in the video shows how dark it was. The meter measured 240 seconds, but that was beyond the range of the graph. So how do I work out the actual exposure? That's where the math lesson at the beginning comes in. I used a calculator as follows. 240, then this symbol, then 1.31, then the equals button. That's a big number in seconds, so we'll divide it by 60 to get the number of minutes, and we end up with a 22 minute exposure. You'll notice that the contrast in some areas has increased massively compared to normal use of HP5. This is because the shadows require a very long exposure to resolve the image. However, the highlights are much brighter and don't suffer from reciprocity failure, so they burn out, and thus you get higher contrast. Now you know about reciprocity failure and how you can correct for it. Remember to check the manufacturer's data sheet to find out how to compensate. Every film will be different. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more content.